When Sabrina moved to the big city to live out her photography dreams, she never imagined how hard it would be to find somewhere to live. Then she found Marge, and the two became unlikely flatmates and friends. It's nice not to be in the home alone. I would be rather lonely. She helps me and I help her. I do a lot of cooking as well. Oh yes, of course. I was just I, about to say that. Don't forget that. that. <laughs> <laughs> I was just about to say that. I'll never starve. <laughs> How's Sabrina's cooking? Oh, she's quite good. Yeah. I think she's learning. What is she? Oh, <laughs> learning. <laughs> they choose recipes and cook together. Yeah, it's, it's an easy soup to make, but you cook it slowly for a long time. Yeah, that's how you make it tasty, right? Mm. Enjoy a bit of couch time in front of the telly. Do you want to get comfortable? Mm. Just like any other housemates, right? Well, there is one thing. Marjorie and Sabrina are 72 years apart. I needed to find a place to live. Very difficult to find an affordable place. There were so many scams. It was really challenging. I felt really overwhelmed. I did have a stint of um, going into a, uh, a nursing home, a, you know, retirement village, but it was terrible. <laughs> mm. It doesn't suit my personality. No. No surprises there, Marjorie has lived life to the full. She has two grandchildren and one great-grandchild. She's been a keen bushwalker most of her life and still walks up and down the stairs of her two-storey townhouse every day. There's more stairs. How do you go on these stairs, Marge? Marge's bedroom is on the first floor, Sabrina's just across the hallway. Marge lets us in on a secret. It's not always this tidy. She's tidied up today because we came. <laughs> I'm amazed. <laughs> it's the cleanest it's ever been. <laughs> a simple solution put these two former strangers together. Home share, a matchmaker service, pairing up older people with a spare room with those who need it. Many interviews, police checks, referee checks, very safeguarded process. Um, but the lady who was running the program uh, thought that Marjorie and I would be a good match. They soon found out they had even more in common. Sabrina is a budding photographer. There we go. Beautiful. Marjorie, quite the talented artist with a love of painting Australian landscapes. That's just an outback picture. Out I know, with the moody my, sky. Yeah, out of my head. <laughs> Marjorie turns 100 on Boxing Day this year. Sabrina is a 27-year-old student. She contributes to the bills, the cost of groceries, and also helps Marjorie around the house. It's nice to have a friend in the house and um, somebody that you uh, feel comfortable with. And, um, and we share a lot of things and we've got quite a, a lot of interests, I think, even with our age group. Marjorie hates wasting things, so I've learnt a lot about saving things and making use of them to, um, yes, advice on men. You know, Marjorie has some advice on places I should go and she's advised me to um, put myself out there more and be a little more flirtatious at times. <laughs> she wants me to find a husband. <laughs> so what is Marjorie's dating advice? Good character is the first thing. Mm -hmm. Honesty, good character. And, um, and and respect. Home Share's Rosie Lawn has matched dozens of pairs. She says the age gap isn't always this big. There's always that sort of magic that starts happening over time um, where, you know, they value each other and care about each other. She says women over 50 who are the fastest growing group of homeless make great housemates being one way for addressing housing affordability and freeing up some of the established houses and bedrooms that are part of our communities and cities. I've noticed much, there's another bed over there. Yeah. Could I move in too? <laughs> <laughs> you could book in. <laughs> Would you say you're friends now? Oh yeah, we're great friends. Yeah, Are we? <laughs> no, we're there for each other and for me, that's been one of the biggest benefits out of this. Isn't that just beautiful? I think I want to live with Marge and I can't believe she's almost 100.